Warning, the following video may not be appropriate for lambs under the age of three. If you would like to speak to an operator, please hold. Remember that your call is very important to us, so please enjoy the music while your party is reached. Viewer discretion is advised. Farts. F to the A to the R to the T to the S. Fart. F to the A to the R to the T. Start it. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be ranting about farts. I don't see why there's such a big deal about farts. When I fart, people are like, Ugh, stop farting, that's so disgusting, that's so immature. Well, they're the immature ones because farting is a natural process of life. You don't see me going up to people telling them to stop breathing because their breath is stink. <laughs> Just stop breathing! I mean, what's the difference? Sometimes I meet people whose breath smells like fart. And sometimes it's worse. So I don't see why it's such a big deal. Everybody farts. Except for girls. Girls never fart. Just kidding. But seriously. Everybody in the world farts. People, dogs, cats, frogs, lamps, giraffes, pillows, platypies, platypuses, platyp... Horses, cows, etika. So why is it such a big deal? Because we make it to be. I like to answer my own questions. Isn't that right? Yes. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, there's four major types of farts. The first one is loud and proud. These farts are really loud and they usually don't smell that bad, so they're perfect for birthday parties. Next, we have the silent but violent. These farts are freaking ninjas, they just right out without anybody knowing. And yet, those are the stinkest ones. Next, we have the queefs. These are a bunch of wannabe farts that come from the vagina. Posers. And last but not least, we have the sharts. These farts are the reason you should never force out a fart because if you do, you might end up farting out sh Anyway, those are the major types of farts. Personally, I think farts are nothing to be ashamed of, but for those of you who are, here's some techniques for you guys to hide your farts. Raising the volume. All you have to do is make noise louder than your fart. Well, thank you all for coming here and listening to me. That was my project on photosynthesis. I hope you enjoyed it. Next, we have denial. All you have to do is deny, deny, deny. <sighs> that wasn't me. What wasn't you? That. And last, we have the blame. Just blame it on someone else. I think it was you. What? These techniques are so good that even celebrities use them. Crank that soldier boy! That's all we have for the chorus? What goes next? I don't know, A-Rab. Why don't you figure it out? That's genius. See how easy it is? So stop trying to hold in your farts. It's healthier if you just let it out. Because if you don't let out your farts, all the gas inside your body is going to start to build up. If it starts to build up, it's going to make you expand. If you expand too much, you're going to explode. When you explode, your body parts are going to go flying everywhere. Dogs, cats, dragons, sheep. They're all going to be eating all your remains. But what happens when they run out of remains to eat? That's right. They're going to go for your babies. Do you want to be a baby killer? Because every time you hold in a fart, you're that much closer to killing a baby. So like I said in the beginning of the rant, all you people who try to hold in your farts and think that farts are gross and immature, Think of it like this. I'm trying to save lives. What are you doing? You're killing babies. Prick. <laughs>